Columbia. The categorical at Frigo. Anesthesia at Johns Hopkins. Staying at Sinai is my top choice. Match day is a, a, a magical day. It's arguably the most important day in all of medical school. At exactly noon on that day, each student gets an envelope, and in that envelope is the secret of where they're going to end up for the next three, five, sometimes seven years. It's an unbelievably emotional experience for everyone. One of the unique features of Mount Sinai is the diversity of our student body. We have students from all over the world, from every ethnic group, from every religious group. That enhances the education of all our students. So I'm originally from Ghana, West Africa, and I came here to do my PhD, and then I also did my MD, and we had Montana, and it was fantastic. The student liver transplant team is unique to Mount Sinai. It allows first and second years to scrub in on procurement surgeries and even sometimes scrub in on recipient surgeries. It's an amazing opportunity for students to be able to participate in all of these procedures. At Mount Sinai, we have a unique program in which the students are able to have a patient that they follow from the moment they get here, and they follow that patient for two years. So you're going to start with pulse, right? right? And then you're going to do blood pressure, probably in both arms. It has been great to have a chance to learn hands-on what we have been taught in classes like physiology. I'm getting much more comfortable. In the beginning, I was very intimidated. One day, it's going to be second nature. She did very well. She did very well. So here at the Morshan Center at Mount Sinai, we provide a safe environment for medical students year one through four to practice on our standardized patients and also get direct feedback from them. I know pretty soon I'm going to be on the wards, I'm going to be in the hospital, and I know that I'm hitting the ground running. So I'm just going to take a quick listen to your breathing if I could. Can I just ask you to open the gown just a little bit? Sure. Not only do we work on training the students here, but we extensively train the actors to play standardized patients. I've learned the physical exam skills that I need to know, and I've learned how to talk to a patient and take a basic history. The students work with a simulator from the first year physiology course all the way through the curriculum. We're in the simulator here at Mount Sinai and we're showing the med students how basic science applies to real patient care and letting them get a real taste of what the clinical experience is like. So we're taking us out of the textbooks and giving us some things that are more applicable. So if we ever see someone in trauma in real life, we'll know exactly what to do. So is it possible that his chest could go up and down and he's still not ventilating well? What could be the cause of something like that? The things that they're learning in basic science, the abstract equations and the concepts are very applicable to uh, real patient care. I'm clear. You're clear. We're all We're clear. clear. The education, the people, the teachers. The mentorship. Um, the mentorship. The mentorship, definitely. Definitely the mentorship. Med school is a really intense, intense period in someone's life and that this school is more nurturing and more sort of student-centered than most. And in addition to sort of all of those nice things about it, your clinical training here is so excellent. The Mount Sinai faculty, not only will you be able to find somebody that is an expert in whatever field you can, you can imagine being interested in, but if you express an interest, they will meet you halfway they will reach out their hand and pull you up to where you want to be. Sinai has one of the best labs you can find. And then with the medical school staff, just phenomenal. The students really feel that they can get to know the faculty members, that they can ask for guidance, for career advice. The faculty at Mount Sinai are absolutely wonderful. I love them. I felt like they were so attentive to making sure I met my career goals. And I was someone who came in with very specific interests in medicine and public health. And they made it their mission to find out that I got the right experiences, took the right courses, and met the right mentors to achieve those goals. And I am so happy to say that they pushed me in the right direction 110%. In 2009, uh, Mount Sinai received the award for the best community service of any medical school in the country, the Spencer Foreman Award. Mount Sinai won it for a number of different programs here, for the free clinic, EHOP, for the Adolescent Health Center, for the Center for Multicultural and Community Affairs, which is a center of excellence for minority health, and for the Visiting Docs program. As a physician and the visiting doctors, I get to take medical students with me on house calls. Um, all third-year medical students spend one week doing house calls as part of their medicine curriculum. He's homebound because he's had an amputation. He's wheelchair-bound. I think Mount Sinai students are privileged to get to do house calls. Most physicians don't get to see house calls during their training anymore. Uh -huh. It's great having Mount Sinai Hospital come here because it's very hard for me to get out and get to the hospital. It's an entirely different learning experience that's incredibly enriching as a student. At home, 
the patients are really in control of the relationship. It's really a patient-doctor relationship, not a doctor-patient relationship. And that sort of shift makes the patients less vulnerable and I think lends important perspective to students to understand where they fit in society as a doctor. 100% of our students do community service. They do it in many, many different ways. One of the most robust programs is the Community Health Fair. So there's a large part of this community health fair that has to do with EHOP, and that's the East Harlem Health Outreach Project, which is a clinic that's run for free on Saturdays. And it's totally staffed by all the students. It's made by the students. It's what Mount Sinai is about. It's Mount Sinai likes to give back to the community. It's part of our passion. It's part of our mission and commitment. Our mission is serving society and basically using medicine as a platform to cause social change. You can feel the stick, okay? All right. Step together, step forward, great, good, step together, step. So the Center for Multicultural and Community Affairs, otherwise known as CMCA in the school, aims to be a bridge for the medical students to the, to the neighborhood. Our diversity programs are comprehensive in that we target medical students, graduate students, house staff, postdoc trainees, and faculty. We have a fairly comprehensive program to support the recruitment and the development of minority faculty. Our Global Health Center at Mount Sinai Medical School is a very strong program. We have about 10 faculty members who are part of the Global Health Center. There's a huge need to train doctors in global health. Around the world, there's a complete shortage of physicians. The MD, MPH program at Mount Sinai is designed for students who really want to plan a career in global health and in public health next to their medical career. To fully live up to the potential of being a doctor, not only do you need to be able to treat an individual's disease, but you need to be able to address the social, political, and environmental context of that disease. Our students travel to a wide variety of sites around the globe, including Mozambique, where they work on a community health worker program, Brazil, where they study malaria and childhood asthma, and Ethiopia, where they work with orphans who have HIV. I was able to go to Senegal and do research on malaria prevention. In India we have a program where our students work with a community-based organization helping to reduce maternal and infant mortality. I wound up going to Honduras on a medical um, service learning mission and did a lot of public health education while I was there. Also learned how to do some basic surgical procedures while I was there as well. Right now there's no one is preparing young medical students interested in global health to do this work and that was the main reason why we started with the Global Health Center. One way to judge uh, how well an institution like this is doing in terms of research is where they rank in NIH funding. Five or six years ago, we ranked in the 30s out of 125 medical schools, and now we rank 18th. Just a constant trajectory up. The only medical school in New York State that's been on that trajectory. The program here teaches us to be doctors that not only can take care of patients, but also uh, do some of the basic science that's needed to further the field. We call it bench to bedside. So this is Ms. Yes. Okay. So tell us a little bit about My passion is being able to teach the next generation of incredible medical students that we have here at Mount Sinai to be able to do the same. To see patients in the hospital while at the same time making groundbreaking discoveries in the laboratory. We've had enormous growth in the basic sciences and clinical research and now we want to concentrate on that transitional zone, translational research, where we bring our basic science discoveries through to clinical innovation. Thirteen years ago I came here and I started working on a gene we didn't know anything about. Thirteen years later now, this gene is being used potentially in the next year or two to treat patients with advanced cancer. We're really excited about our research because one of the compounds that we've developed using animal models have now recently been approved by the FDA for us to use in humans. So here we're able to go from an animal model into the human and to develop treatments and that is phenomenal. So what's going on over here? Hi, I am working on some immunofluorescence. My laboratory studies the aging brain. There's work going on on the molecular basis of addiction, on how the influenza virus infects us, work on the genetic basis of disease. There are literally hundreds of laboratories at Mount Sinai, each directed by a principal investigator. The scientists that are at Mount Sinai are world famous. They provide the best training to students. They are the cutting edge researchers in the world.
the ball drop. This is the center of the world, Times Square in New York City. And New Year's happens like right here. My name is Kate Jandel and I'm from Mission Hills, Kansas. I love living in New York. I wanted to train in New York for um, med school because the hugely diverse population um, and I love living here. There's so much to do. You never are bored. But New York is, is just amazing. We're right here on the park, running Central Park. I run with Olympic runners run by me sometimes while I'm running around the bridal pad. Fantastic. You don't get that anywhere else. Sinai gives us really affordable housing and so I can live in this beautiful, fabulous, convenient apartment right next to the park, right next to the school. They encourage us to have lives outside of medical school, which is great. I play guitar professionally and I play at least one gig a week. Yeah, I mean, it's really nice to be able to go and see a show any like night of the week or do all the kind of the standard things that you read about in the tourist books yeah. and stuff. Meeting all these people at Sina who aren't from here has also opened my eyes to all these new experiences. And I love New York. The central part of the New York experience is going out, getting to see the culture of places like this. You know, it's pretty great. No other city can offer this. Yeah. New York City. It's all here, baby. What does it mean to be a graduate of the Mount Sinai School of Medicine? Based on the accomplishments of our alumni, it means that you're likely to become a great physician. You're likely to become a great scientist. You're likely to make contributions to your local community, to our nation, and to the world in terms of changing the face of medicine. I love it, I love it. And because I want to be at Mount Sinai, it's like my, it's my home.